Today we're going to look at the most widespread geologic mystery in the entire world. And we're going to be looking at them on the mega scale. That's right, we're looking at mega mounds. All of these mound locations show mounds much larger than a kilometer in width. And we're going to go through each one of these locations and learn something new. So let's start with this location in Russia. Here we've got some really perfect mounds that are slightly streamlined where you can see that this is the tail. Here we've got some more mounds and you can see that rivers carve around these mounds. And then there's a spot on top of higher elevation. This is common for mega mounds and I call these egg mounds. Now let's go to Kazakhstan where we can find some more egg mounds. Here's a really good example of an egg mound. It looks like a sunny side up egg where you've got the yolk in the middle. And if you look at these, you can see that these are ripples. So all of these right here are ripples on top of the mounds. This gives us good indication that these are carved by water. Now in between the mounds, you've actually got a lot of scouring going on. All of these are river scours and they're filled up with salt deposits. Okay, now let's go to Mozambique where we can also find more egg shaped mounds and then we can find smaller mounds within the mounds. It's like moundception. In here we can also get an indication that it's a river that's carving between these mounds. And when the water carved through here, it erased a lot of mounds here. Okay, now we're in Nebraska. And this spot is very interesting. But you can see a lot of mounds here. You've got mounds all over the place. And when you zoom in, you can find some sediment lobes which are sediment pushed by a water current. Okay, now we're in Angola, and here we've got some nice mounds. Now this location in Angola actually gives us a good indication of fluvial origin because you can see that it's like a braided stream that went through here. So here you've got all sorts of braided streams, and you can see exactly how the braided streams separated and sculpted the mounds. Now this location is in Namibia, and we've got some huge mounds here. These are massive mounds. So let's look at the width on this guy. Yeah, three kilometers wide. And just like most mound locations, you've got large mounds right next to smaller mounds. And then you've also got a ton of salt scours, indicating that it was salt water that carved these mounds. And you get beautifully straight drumlins. And you've even got perfect examples of teardrop deposits. So now we got a directional feature where it's actually going up this way. 